big. I, that's what my I. My hair need. is dirty. But that's yeah. what I need to look like. I need to look like bitchy, like you. So people won't try to step on me for shit. Seriously. Just put on makeup. I do sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's film this intro. Hi everyone, I'm Brittany Gray, owner and stylist at Beach Vibes Beauty Studio, and today I have my friend Satasha here with me. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> On my last hair tutorial video that I did, um, a lot of you were leaving me comments saying that you wanted me to do something on natural hair or curly hair, so that's what I'm doing today. She has very curly hair, kind of coarse, kind of you know, we need to put a lot of heat and tension <laughs> on this hair to get it straight. And also she has bangs too, which are a whole different thing to that you have to learn to blow out and everything. So yeah, so we're gonna shampoo her hair and do like a deep conditioner maybe, and then we're gonna blow dry it and we're gonna flat iron it straight and I might trim her bangs. Yeah, if you want, if you think I need to. Yeah, we're gonna look at it. We're, we're, I'm just gonna do her hair. She comes here like every week to do her hair. <laughs> <laughs> She's here <laughs> every week to do her hair. So we just kind of just do whatever every single time. And then I think in the future we're gonna do hair color, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah, so we're gonna get started and yeah. After I have shampooed and conditioned her hair, all I'm gonna apply is this thermal straightening balm by Brazilian Blowout. I'm applying that mid strand to ends, keeping it off of the root, and I love this stuff because it protects your hair, it helps to straighten it, and it is not heavy at all. It's just enough, but it's not drying either, so it's perfect, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. And here I'm sectioning off her hair, and first things first, when you're dealing with curly or natural hair, you want to get those edges, girl, because once those uh, dry, um, they're going to be hard to straighten. And you don't want to put an iron on your edges. You want to try to avoid that, at least. And also, on a little side note, as you may have noticed, I did not pre-dry her hair at all. When you're dealing with curly hair, do not rough dry the hair a little bit to get it a little dry. No. You want it to be wet because, again, once curly hair dries, it's going to be frizzy. So... Um, the brush that I'm using is about three quarters of an inch in diameter, so it's pretty small to get the little baby hairs around the face. Then I'm just going to go and get a bigger brush. This one is by Ibiza. Oh my gosh, I love Ibiza brushes. And that's just to get those long pieces straighter. And then I am just going to start blow drying the rest of her hair. Also take note of the direction of the airflow and where I'm standing during this entire blowout. You always want to point the air away from the face and away from the head and away from the scalp. See how I'm pointing it away from her face and away from her body because you will burn somebody if you're not conscious of that. Another thing you are going to notice is how I'm constantly keeping tension on that piece of hair. Even if I'm adjusting my brush, or in this case adjusting my camera, I'm constantly pulling that piece taut. Not pulling it so, you know, I'm hurting her or anything. But, you know, keeping it straight because that one section that you may be adjusting your brush or, you know, something like that, if the hair is limp and curly, it's going to dry curly. If you keep pulling it straight and it dries for that one second, it's going to dry straight. So here I am starting to put a little bend in the hair by kind of like, you know when you curl that stuff that you put on wrapping paper on gifts, like the um, ribbon with the scissor, it's kind of like the same effect. Like you wrap it and then you start to pull the scissor. I don't even know if that makes sense, but you know what I mean. And I'm also twisting it and then blowing the ends lastly to make them smooth. Now I'm going to start blowing her bang straight. This part is a major key so take notes. So I'm going to do her bangs in three different sections and of course I'm going to start with the one closest to her edges because as you know getting the edges straight when you have curly hair is most important. So I'm getting that smaller brush again, and I'm pulling the hair taut. You can see the tension at the root. I'm pulling it taut. I'll blow it for a second, hold it while it cools, 
and I'm constantly keeping tension at the root. If you let that hair go, it's going to spring back and it's going to dry curly. Never let the hair spring back. So I'm going to blow it a couple times, keeping focusing on roots and mid strand. Then I'll start rolling the ends and see how that turns out straight. Grab the next section and do the same thing. Pull it flat so that way you get the root straight first and foremost. The roots and the edges straight first and foremost. You can always work with the ends, but roots and edges are so important when you're working with curly or natural hair. And that's me just showing you how straight I got that. And as always, I'm blowing the air away from her face. If it if the blow dryer is pretty high, then it's fine if it if the air touches her face a little bit. But when I'm getting close to the roots like that, you always want to blow away from the face because you will burn somebody's face, somebody's scalp. You're gonna be mad. I've done it before. We've all been there. So now I am going to start blow drying the rest of her hair and then I kind of sped up through the rest of this just because it can be um, pretty repetitive but yeah I'm just keeping the tension constantly blowing curling the brush away from the face so now we are going to work with the nape area of the neck the hair at the nape also known as the kitchen <laughs> so I'm gonna pull a thin section oh this this may be like half an inch but you could pull it um like a thinner section the more coarse the hair is and that's just me re-wetting the little pieces that may have dried anytime the hair dries you could re-wet it because again if the hair is wet and you blow it you know you it gives you the ability to shape it however you want it to sh be shaped but if the hair is already dry and you blow it, it's going to be harder to get the curl out. So again, I'm pointing the airflow away from her head, away from her neck. Got those little pieces first, blow dried those. And then now I'm pulling the neck section, blow drying that. Focusing mainly on the root, letting that dry for a second as I'm adjusting my brush. Blowing, blowing. And then I am just going to get the ends and start rolling those. And um, eventually I will add the two, any little baby hairs. You know, I'm kind of meticulous when it comes to blow drying curly hair or hair in general but you know you have to pay attention to these little details these little details matter you guys see I mean there's barely a wave there but you know if you want your clients blowout to last you need to pay attention to these little details because if there's that little wave there when they leave the salon then you know their blowout's not going to last as long as it potentially could so see how smooth that got and here I just quickly sped up this part because it's not as meticulous. This The inner section of the hair is going to be um, a little easier to blow out. But this is the result after I have just blown it out. As you can see, there's lots of movement, body. It's luscious and beautiful. Look how bomb your hair looks. I mean, I have still need to iron it, but you know. I know my hair, I feel like I, I feel like I have so much hair. It's so beautiful. I know. Don't you love it? Don't you love how much hair you have? Yeah, low key I do. I don't <laughs> tell people, but I do. <laughs> Next, I am going to start to curl the hair. Actually, I'm just gonna put a wave in it. I'm not gonna put like a, a prom curl in it, if that's what you wanna call it. Um, so I'm sectioning off the front section of the hair, and then I am gonna start working with the back. I'm using my one and a quarter inch uh, Hot Tools Marcel iron, these Marcel irons are so amazing. I'm keeping lots of tension on the curl. See how I'm grabbing that? You could even see her head coming back, which, you know, it's it's within reason. I'm not hurting her. So you want to keep lots of tension when you're dealing with coarse hair. See how I'm going to pull that end to smooth it, pull it taut. That's going to keep it nice and smooth. So I haven't 
done the side sections of her hair yet. I just wanted to flat iron her bangs, so we are going to do that, and I'm going to show you how. So again, we're working with the front piece closest to her edges. First, I'm getting a section. I'm going to divide it, or maybe not. And then I'm going to get my flat iron. I'm tapping the top of the section first. That's going to um, straighten that section without adding a lot of tension to it or getting too close to her scalp and burning. Um, I'm also simultaneously combing it with a carbon comb. Carbon combs do not melt. So there I'm putting a bend kind of at the root and then I'm letting it go. Again, showing you that bend at the root and then it's more straight at the end and that's going to give you that nice bang that's not super curled where it looks like, I don't know, you know those kind of bangs where they look too curled like the 90s or something like no, 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 no. I know the 90s are back, but not when it comes to, to those bangs, okay? So, again, we're going to go to the next section and pull it, focusing at the root, putting the bend at the root, and making the end straighter. And then I'm going to grab my Marcel iron, and then I'm going over just the top of her hair where the roots are, and that is going to help her bangs lay down. So that way they are not those unfortunate bangs that just stick off your head. Sectioning off her bangs that I just did and then I'm going to go over the rest of her hair with that Marcel iron. So as I'm curling I'm keeping the focus of the bend at the mid strand and keeping the end smoother so that way it looks more like a wave rather than a curl. We don't want it to be too curly and bouncy. Alright, I'm going to trim your bangs. Okay. Just to make them even. Are you liking your bangs? Yeah. As long as I get my hair done, I don't care. You feel bomb now? Now you want to take selfies? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like face the camera? Yes. Basically. I love having my hair done. It makes me feel like beautiful. Like I'll never I know I need to do my hair because my sh is whack right now. Wait on it though. Alright, so now that we've like finished the Tasha's hair, she's like taking her selfie. She can't even <laughs> she can't even help herself. But I'm just gonna trim her bangs because if she puts her head up and looks <laughs> at the camera, you can see that this side's a little bit longer. But we're just going to trim a little bit. Uh, yeah. How have you been liking the bangs anyway? Are you over them yet? No, I, so I love them as long as I'm going to the salon all the time. So basically, like, if you're going to, like, take this part and you want me to be honest, <laughs> I'm going to, yeah. basically what I'm going to say is that if you're not going to come see Brittany every week, then don't fucking get bangs. <laughs> if you're not going to go to the salon every week, you really shouldn't get bangs. But yeah. if you are, you should get bangs. Well, it depends on your hair texture. If you have straight hair, then you can get bangs and you're cool. But if you don't, if you have curly hair like me, I do not recommend you get bangs unless you're going to come to the salon every one to two weeks. Because they grow out? Or because they're just like, when your hair is not done, they're annoying. Well, not only that, but my hair tends to get oily, and the bangs don't look as fresh if you, you know, wait longer than you should to go to the salon. Does that make sense? Mm hmm I mean, and then I did blow dry my bangs on my own, and it worked, but, like, I don't like doing my own hair. Okay, for you, it's because you don't like doing your hair. Like, that's what it boils down to. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So basically, anybody can have bangs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that you should just go to the salon every two weeks and it should be I know, that bill. should be like a thing. Everybody should get their hair done. It should like, be a bill, honestly. Unless you're in college. Like, if yeah. you're in college or really trying to make it in life, then do your own hair. That's what I did. This is how I explain it to people. Because pe when people complain about, like, oh my gosh, like, that's so expensive, which... I don't even feel like I'm, like, expensive. You're not expensive. But here's the thing. Like, you wear your hair every single day. And it's like, if you only get one haircut every three, four months, it's actually not that money, that much money when you think about it. You know what I mean? If you get your hair cut, if you get your hair colored every three months or whatever. And it's like, you wear your hair every single day. If you're wearing sweats and, like, 
and some flip flops and your hair's done, like you're going to fall. And it's an investment for really your is. career. Like you don't, you want to look professional. It's your image. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, I like my hair curly. I'm not against my hair. I love my hair and I love myself. But no, seriously. But if if I want to work professionally, I should keep a professional style, whether it's curly or straight. And I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not a hairstylist, so I need to go see a professional. Yeah, don't try to do your hair at home. Do not dye your own hair. If you have the money, it should be a bill. Yeah. If you don't, try to go as natural as possible. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, and just get your hair cut. Yeah. I mean, but like, then there's some girls, they spend so much money getting their hair, like, relaxed and stuff. And I'm like, you can make the investment and just go natural. Yeah. I agree. Some girls are scared to go natural, though. They usually do it in college, freshman year. No, seriously, because that's the best time to do it. That's when they're feeling all ambitious and they're like, whatever, I'm going natural. Yeah. And if they have a boyfriend, the boyfriend will, like, stick with them if they really love them. Yeah. I love natural hair. Natural hair is bomb. But some girls don't like to, like, you know how some girls go natural and they cut all their relaxed hair off? Yeah. And and then it's, like, really short, like a short fro. Yeah. Like, Brandon saw my college ID, and I wasn't going natural. I just had really short hair because, like, I had cut it and I was transitioning. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I still love you. <laughs> I was like, I hate you. <laughs> it took me a long time to get to where I'm at. I started from the bottom. Now you're here. Yeah. So okay, so we just finished Satasha's hair, and she just feels so bomb, right? You know what? Let me not put words in your mouth. How do you feel? Oh my god, Brittany has created a miracle once again. I look amazing. Yeah, you do. You look pretty bomb. Um, thanks to me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is how we straighten. Actually, we didn't even like use a flat iron. This is all from a blowout and a curling iron. Except for her bangs. I had to flat iron her bangs. But face the camera. Yeah, look at those bangs. Look, do you see that bounce? Do you see that bounce? Yes, so you, if you guys have any requests for videos, then definitely leave it in a comment down below, and I will try to find a model. Um, and yeah, we're we're gonna keep this. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep these <laughs> hair tutorials going. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I like bomb in that. I hate you. I'm still gonna post it. Please do. If you guys have any requests, then leave it down below. If you have any comments or whatever, I read all of my comments. All the information for the tools and products that I used. Um, will be in the information thing down below. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and all that stuff. It'll be down below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because we are about to do a bunch of bomb hair tutorials. Okay? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys will see me in my next video. Bye. So if I don't look bomb, I really don't care. You can still post me. As you can look bomb and you can just still post me as long as my hair looks bomb.